This is a 2019 Ram 1500 Rebel. Today we're working with our friends at Apple Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in beautiful Shakopee, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. And today, what do we got, Nathan? We have got a 2019 Ram 1500, but it's the Rebel Edition. Yes, it is. And hey folks, if you want to keep up to date on new cars, SUVs, and trucks, and you want to know all the latest vehicle technologies, and you like cool collector stories, Take a second to hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for a ride. ride. All right, so today we are in the 2019 Ram Rebel. And boy, do you sit up high. And I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll we'll see this on the ride, but this has got a very quiet ride. It's very well insulated despite the fact that I have the panoramic sunroof open. Do we know how but even, even with that open, you know, with the vent, or uh, the, the shade gone, hey, listen, this has got a quiet ride. Yeah, it does. I'm not, I'm not, like, not, it's got big tires on it, too. I'm not, I'm not picking up that whiny road noise. Lots of soft touch materials everywhere, everywhere, except for like the main screen. But the main screen is is, is larger than the oh you know, yeah, your, we'll your show you favorite that. giant. It's twelve inch. It's the long twelve inch. Yeah. Um, you can get it with an eight point four, but this is the big. This is the big one. The um, I like the seats. I haven't had any chance to play with the controls, but um, I'm I'm very comfortable. I have got tons of headroom. And legroom, but you know these full-size pickups are just so roomy, to a T. Every 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 single brand yep. is roomy. Yep. But I can't wait to jump in the back here. This is my first time in a Ram 1500, uh, and this again is is the Rebel um, edition. But wow, I, I am I am truly impressed. Okay. All right, I am gonna I'm I'm gonna find a spot here to turn around and let uh, let Rob drive a little bit, but. I, I'm gonna tell you, the road noise in here is really quiet. I mean, it's minimal. It, it's a quiet ride. The seats are, are comfortable. I like the way they're bolstered. Plenty of headroom and legroom. And the fit and finish seems to be really good. I haven't found anything that's really out of place or like misaligned or uh, rattling or anything. I, it's really nice. I think Rob's gonna enjoy this. All right. Pretty good takeoff. It doesn't sound like you're moving, but it snarls out back and we hit the speed limit really quick. Could you like dial me on a foreign country code number? Because <laughs> I'm so far away from you at this point, that's where I feel like I'm at. You know, are you I mean, comfortable in your seat? I am oh I'm got plenty. I'm maybe could scoot up a little bit more. Okay, I have a foot, at least a 12 inches between my knees and back of his seat. Can you stretch your feet, your legs all the way out without touching the back of the seat or? No, my feet go under the seat when okay. I do that. Okay. My ankles are right at the edge of the seat. The acceleration is really good on it. Uh, you know, the handling is very precise for a large truck, a full-size truck. And wow, this is very, very easy to drive. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. That worked. Can you hand me my brain back? Nice and confident. It's easy. Turning circle on this is a little big, um, but it's it's geared set for off road. So the suspension is a little bit different. It's not a little small car either. So you're going to have a little bit larger turning big. circle. Um, but you know, overall, I like it. It's it's really nice. It's comfortable. It's easy to drive. Uh, nice materials inside and out. Yeah, I like it. The Ram 1500 Rebel 4x4 starts at 45,190. This particular vehicle is actually stickered out at 58,960. Now it is in diamond black and it does have contrasting black and red interior and Nathan will show you that in a few minutes. Uh, it is powered by 5.7 liter Hemi with VVV, VVV, yes, VVT engine with cylinder deactivation and sequential port point fuel injection. It does produce 395 horsepower and 410 pound foot of torque. Now fuel mileage is 15 city, 21 highway. There is also an additional engine cooler and it is powered by an eight speed transmission. Now up front, we'll see that this particular version does have an option on it that is the LED automatic reflector headlights, LED front fog lights. It also has active grill shutters and you can see it has a special Ram Rebel grill. Has fixed front air dams, powder coated front bumper, does have the sport performance hood and you see the air vents there and those are actually functioning air vents. It does have dual front tow hooks. There you go. And it does have parking sensors. Now on the front suspension, this front coils with anti-roll bar and performance tuned shocks. And this one does have the Bilstein shocks. On the rear, you have five link with anti-roll bar and performance tuned shocks. It does ride on 18 inch alloy wheels with Goodyear Wrangler LT275 70R18E with the raised uh, outlined white wall lettering all terrain tires. You do have front and rear disc brakes and out back you do have a rear locking differential. Now on this vehicle you do have rain sensing wipers. You do have perimeter uh, approach lights now the exterior mirrors are heated as well as powered. You do have a remote proximity switch. You can see there if you've got it, uh, the key in your pocket, you can just come right up and push the button and, and lock or unlock the door. It does have remote start as well. Let me get over this start and it does tap at you. Nathan's playing with the key. There you go, there's your remote start. Right on cue, way to go Nate. <laughs> and remote stop evidently um, and you do have the rebel badges and I'll show you that out back you do have a capless fuel filter and you've got the rebel badge there there we go now it does have LED tail lights black rear bumper park view backup camera dual exhaust and you got the trailer hitch and 4-7 pin connector there we go soft dampened tailgate now inside there you're going to have your cargo area the bed height is 21.5 inches the cargo bed length is 76.3 inches the width overall 66.4 inches and the width between the wheel housings is 51 inches now you do see there are a couple of uh, grooves on top of the wheel housings and here at the back where you can put a 2x4 or 2x6 to support uh, multi-layer stacking and where you can slide uh, four by eight sheets of plywood or two by fours or anything else that you want in there. Uh, one of the cool options on this vehicle, it does have rain brake support. It helps keep brakes dry in rainy conditions by applying a small amount of pressure to the caliper for improved stopping power and it engages when the windshield wipers are activated. So we actually um, had that going and didn't know it and just a few minutes ago. Included in the options on this vehicle, you do have blind spot and cross path detection. You have park sense front and rear park assist with stop. 
Overall, on this vehicle, you do have a 23 gallon fuel tank. Its curb weight is 5,302 pounds. So she's, she's heavy. She's stout, two and a half tons. Payload capacity out back is 1,800 pounds. Maximum towing when properly equipped is 11,470 pounds. So you're gonna put all that uh, horsepower and torque to work for you with that. Now this does ride on a wheelbase of 144.5 inches. Its overall width is 82.1 inches. Its height 77.6 and overall length 232.9 inches. Front track is 68.5 inches. Turning circle 46.2 feet. So as I was saying earlier, it is quite a large turning circle. Now the running ground clearance on this vehicle is 8.7 inches. The approach ang angle is 18.9 degrees. The breakover angle, 19.9 degrees. And the departure angle is 25 degrees. Now I will explain those, uh, uh, those words to you, what each one means. The approach angle means how steep of a ramp or rock or log a vehicle can meet without scraping the front end. The departure angle is similar to the approach angle except related to the leaving rather than approaching an obstacle. Now the breakover angle relates to how big of a thing a vehicle can drive over without getting stuck. And the breakover angle is related to the ground clearance but not exactly the same thing. Of course in all circumstances the larger the degree of angle is better for off-roading. Uh, but overall, the styling of the vehicle is classic Dodge. I like the, the front end. The grill does set it apart with this Rebel grill. You do have a little bit of difference in the design of the grill. And of course, the whole design language was updated just a couple of years ago with the new over overall redesign of the uh, Ram 1500 vehicles. I do like the shiny skid plate down below. I like the integrated uh, tow hooks and uh, park sensors, and that is a still powder coated bumper too. I like the plastic uh, wheel arches that help protect the, uh, the paint and such. And overall, I just, I like the lines of the vehicle. A um, little bit of a, a little bit of kink in the rear window here. If, you, if you're a BMW fan, you might want to call that the Hoffmeister kink. Eh. I don't know if Dodge is appropriated, but I think everybody else is appropriated. Of course, I said Dodge. This is actually a Ram vehicle. Um, overall, nicely done. Uh, it's a really cool truck. Drives really well, functions really well. I think you could really haul the mail or haul the wood or haul anything else you want to do with it and tow just about anything you'd like to do with it as well. So. Up next, Nathan's going to take you for a tour of all the technology on the inside of this vehicle. And boy, oh boy, it's got a lot. And you're going to love the interior and that large screen and just the overall look and feel of the interior was superb. It is. And I can't wait to show it to you. So hop on in. Let's go take a look at the inside. And stepping into the 2019 Ram Rebel, you're going to notice, first of all, all the different colors in the doors here. So we got... We got sort of a light red, we've got a dark red, we've got a carbon fiber look, and then we've got a, a, a blackish gray, and then you have the white and red stitching along with the satin chrome handle. I mean, it really looks sharp. It really does. The, um, the, the power buttons up here, of course, it's auto up and down for the front windows, and then uh, regular windows, power windows for the rear, your window lockout, lock on lock buttons. And then over here you got your mirror controls left and right and then your power folding mirrors now down here is part of an upgrade this has the foam bottle inserts so that's going to keep things better insulated and quieter and a little more secure than just the regular cup holder you have a deep storage pocket back here and another one up here along with uh, one of the uh, alpine speakers here all right, this has eight-way power, so it is forward, backwards, tilt the front up, tilt the front down, and tilt the whole seat up, whole seat down, tilt the back of the seat forward, and then it has a lumbar here, and it's basically a four-way, so you can, the lumbar is, of course, where you'd expect it to be right back here, and that's what the, the left and right buttons do, but the up and down buttons move the lumbar support up and down, so it can get you just in that right spot. Moving on to the seats here, you'll notice uh, we got black leather with uh, perforated uh, inserts right here. And we got the nice Rebel logo right there. 
I really like the, the white stitching and the multiple layers here, like one piece here, then another piece here. And they're even different textures. Uh, so it's really interesting. Uh, I, I really, there's some, some thought and some detail in those seats and, and they're very comfortable to ride in. All right, coming back over here, uh, coming up here, you've got your uh, pull-on parking brake. You've got uh, power adjustable foot pedals right here. You've got uh, auto lights down here. You have your fog lamps right here. And then this is your rear, uh, rear bed light right here. You can adjust your um, driver's information center and the center stack brightness or dimness with this control switch. And then this one has to do with your dome lights. Hey, moving up on just in general on the interior, you continue this theme of sort of the red, uh, cr um, the red look along with a little bit of a chrome, satin chrome uh, uh, everywhere. So you got it over here. You have it on the stitching up here. You have it on the steering wheel over here. You have it over here in the middle on the center stack going all the way up. I love the ram right there. That, by the way, is a 12-volt outlet up there which is really neat. I've never seen one put right up there and I really like that. Okay, continues down here. Okay, I mean, it's just, it's really awesome. And then you have right here on the center armrest. So it's just continued everywhere. And I really like, you can get a good shot of the here, the passenger side. And it's really soft touch. I love the little Rebel logo over there. All right, well, let's climb in and fire this baby up. So it is a push start. And here we go. Oh, I like how that rebel comes on there. And that screen coming up. This screen takes a few seconds to, to boot up and get ready. This is the awesome 12-inch display. Oh, I like technology and I love this. I wish it was a little bit faster responding, but it is, it is loading up a pretty detailed map. Now look at this. Okay. You can see the sun ray glinting across the lakes. You can also see waves. Now, somebody put a lot of thought and detail into a map, unlike anything else I've ever seen. That is just way too cool. And uh, I am gonna do a separate video on the driver's information center and one on the infotainment center. So, uh, your speedometer, you do have analog uh rpm you have analog uh temperature engine temperature analog fuel gauge analog um speedometer but then you have a beautiful uh display in the center here that is digital that gives you so much information um and check out the other video if you want to see how that works coming back here to the string well basically these cursors here and the ok button will control the information you see in the driver's information center you have a really nice uh, chrome ram head right here. Over on the right side, you've got your cruise control buttons. On, off, set, resume. Um, and then you can do plus or minus and then cancel. Down here, you do have a gear limit switch. It's, it's not uh, like a paddle shifter, but you can limit. So if I put it in drive, okay, and then I press this. If you look right up here on the dashboard, see if I can hold that at the right angle <laughs> so you can see. You can see the number with the drive and then the number one right next to it. I can limit how many gears it uses. So I can kind of lock out like overdrive or even more. So it's really a neat, it's a, it's a different way to look at it, but um, I mean, there might be a, some times where you could uh, you could have an extra gear and not, and that'd be fine. But then when you start going up hills, you want to take off that gear and not allow it to use it to save on the transmission. So, uh, quite a neat feature. All right, now it does have a rotary knob for the gear selector, and I'm not a fan of the rotary knob. I just I like something uh, a stick either on the column or on the on the console. But nonetheless, if I'm going to have a rotary knob, I like it up on the dashboard. I don't like it down in this area. I have too many dogs and that could be a problem. All right, down here you've got your four, four wheel drive high, four wheel drive low, two wheel drive neutral towing. And then of course your gear selector, which you just spin. 
to select your gears. Down here you have hill descent control and uh, rear axle lock. Okay, so if you do that, you do get a message up here that says rear axle locked or unlocked. Okay, uh, moving up here, um, this does have a nine speaker with subwoofer sound system here. It's the Alpine sound system. It is beautiful. I tried it out on the way over. Um, crystal clear as far as the highs and the mids. And, and the, the songs I have did not have a lot of bass in them, but uh, a fair amount of treble and mids, and they were very crisp and clear. It was really nice. Um, all right. You also have a little storage pocket right here. All right, moving down here, this beautiful 12 inch screen display. And I will give, a make a whole other video on this, which will be again linked below. But here's basically what you have. Driver and passenger temperature controls, okay? And as you hit them, they, you can, the graphic appears. You can also just grab this and slide. There's your sync button. Okay, you want the both temperatures to be the same. You can hit sync. Okay, you have a mode button right here. Okay, this one will tell you your different modes for your climate control. Fan speed right here. And of course, you can click it to auto for auto dual climate control. This does have dual zone auto climate control. Now, at the top over here, the, these are not buttons. The only button you really have up here is the hazards button. But it's nice and prominent right in the middle. Over here, you've got your front defroster, rear defroster, AC, and recirculation. All right, down here, you've got a button that you can tune with the radio. You can browse or enter by pushing, okay? So if I wanted that, I could do that. All right, and then you do have this screen off button. So if you click it, I really like this feature. Down here, you have your basic icons um, that control what you see. All right, move them down here. Trash control on or off, tow haul on or off, and then rear sensors on or off. And if they're lit up, they're off. Okay, and these are a push down button, not a, not a pull up like we see in the sun. All right, over here is the single CD player. I love the fact that they still include a CD player. Okay, even tells you which way to put the label. Over here, you have four USB ports. We have two uh, older style USB and two USB C along with a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack input. Down here, you've got some very unique storage. So let's start with here. This is like a pinch holder. So you could take your phone and set it this way, or you could turn it this way on the side and lay it, but you could fit almost three phones in here and they would just grip it and hold it. Okay, down here, you've got a big storage area. This fits almost my entire uh, uh, smartphone in it. This has a 115 volt, 400 watt um, household plug-in down here. Now. It has got more space down here. So let's take a look at this part. So this part slides up, just a push of a button. You've got two cup holders right here, and you've got some more storage right in here. Now, if that's not enough for you, you can go ahead and grab, there's two handles over here, and you can grab the first, the bottom one, lift this up, and you indeed have more storage. It even tells you how high you can store things. Now, that's not the end of it, okay? Normally, it would look like this. You can see the cars on it. it they're, they're different uh, Ram pickups over the years. I really like it. But if you don't want things sliding all the way underneath here, this acts as a backstop and keeps things from sliding. Okay, so let's close this. Oh, before we do that, take a look at the back here. You've got all these little different uh, measurement uh, uh, comparisons. I, I love it. They put so much little detail into that. Now I can take the first, the top handle, open that up, and I have yet again another storage area, this time with a USB input. Now, um, the two that are, the four that are down here will be for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The other ones are charge only. But what a, conf I think this is the most configurable center dash uh, console I've ever seen. I just love it. And I miss one of my favorite features, and that is I like it when they put storage on the side. And it's just enough for a big cell phone or a tablet or something, you know, a notebook, and it's on both sides. I just absolutely love that. All right, moving on. We've got two cubby holes. So I'm going to press the button over here. Uh, I like how that goes up. It's like tricks you think you think it's to flop down. Very nice and big storage in there. A nice kind of grippy rubber piece in there. 
All right, down here you got your traditional glove compartment. You open that up, you got plenty of room in there. Okay, and then moving up, this is what I was kind of referring to on the right of like a cockpit. The, these are your, of course, your LED reading lights, and then you can set them whether they, you know, come on when your door opens or not. Okay, or you can turn them all on at one time. This is your SOS and your assist buttons. Down here, you got four buttons. This one opens and closes the rear window. You do have to hold it down, okay? But I love this power. This one will open and close the shade of the panoramic sunroof. And that is, you can just push it once and it will go halfway and then it will stop. Wow, it goes the whole way. Well, I didn't think it would do that. Wow, I like that. Most times they stop halfway and then you have to hit them again. This, of course, tilts your window, your, your sunroof up or down. And then, of course, this opens it completely. All right, over here, you've got your three buttons for your home link garage, uh, garage doors. You've got this nice little clip I like to see for keeping uh, driver's license uh, insurance information. Both mirrors are backlit here with lights and they are tilting and telescoping. Now you'll notice I've got two speakers back here, one and two, same thing on the passenger side. And then in the rear, there are even more one on each side for the passengers in the back. And that's all to help use when you connect your phone. Okay, I think that's just awesome that they put in that many. Okay, let's move over to the other side briefly and then we'll go to the back. The uh, passenger seat is the same as the driver's. It is eight way power with four way lumbar. Step into the back of the 2019 Ram 1500 Rebel. Uh, we got the same kind of uh, scheme, color scheme going here. Uh, and the same kind of storage down here. This does not have a foam insert in the back. This is plastic, but it will, it's nice and deep and will hold the bottle pretty securely, I would imagine. Okay, now let's move into the floor here. We got, first of all, um, it's really flat, super flat. And in fact, if I grab this seat and just lift it up, you're gonna see just how flat that floor is. Now, do you need a little more room? Well, you can do this and just lay it flat. Now you have all the way back up into here. Okay, and if you actually want a little storage area here, you can flip this side up and you actually have a little storage area that's now um, got a, a end cap to it, okay? And it's very easy to put back together again. You just click it up like this pull this out and twist it and then just lay it flat okay now in addition to that you got storage down here you also got tie down so you've got the seat up and you need something tied down you can there's two tie downs here and two on the other side and both sides are the same so if I, I open this you've got some deep stores right here and it would be the same on that side okay as far as the back uh, console goes here, you've got two cup holders here. You also have in the armrest an additional two cup holders. Okay, below that, you've got a little bit of storage. You've got, again, four USBs right here. And you have got um, a 115 volt, uh, volt uh, 400 watt uh, household plug-in right here, as well as your air vents. All right, so the space in these full-sized pickups is, is just, it's crazy. Uh, it's huge. <laughs> All right, so I am sitting um, in the back seat where I was before. Rob was in the seat earlier. So this is the one that's pushed farthest back. Take a look at how much space I have. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredible. Okay, as far as headspace goes, plenty. I got, you know, at least a good two, two and a half inches of headspace. Not even getting close to brushing anything. Okay, my favorite thing of this truck is this super multi-functioning um, center console box here. There is just a myriad of 
all types of things and compartments and doodads and you name it all these little things that you can just store things and lose them forever would be my luck uh, oh I just noticed that there's a, even a little USB right there that's really cool that is my favorite thing of this vehicle uh, it, lots of storage absolutely love it so my overall very favorite thing without a question is this beautiful 12 inch display that does so many things and the graphics are super and just the way they shade the buttons and, and, and it gives it some depth but wow this by far is my favorite thing well, do we know how to close that? well it's a little <laughs> bit like a cockpit up here wow so um you don't press the is sos yes there we go no. or vent now <laughs> rear uh auto shade okay Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nope, you're going to open it. It's raining out. We don't want that one. That's the <laughs> tilt the vent here. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't wait till you sit in the back seat. Yeah. And I, I, will I always can't wait till you sit in the back seat. But now he's going <laughs> to be so far leave back. Me as I get out and get back in again. I'm, I'm not even going to have to listen to him because it's so far back. I won't even have to hear him. <laughs> okay, so your screen is off right now. We don't have anything like no uh, navigation or anything to entertain us, or does it have no, navigation? I, I turned it off. Okay. But it will come on like when you want to do the fan control right. or something. Well, can't we nope. see the navigation? I'd rather watch that than you. can't to you. see the navigation. <laughs> you are forbidden. Yeah. Fuck. And, of course, we've not done the braking yet. The road is a little wet. <laughs> and um, you know, Nathan is way back there. Maybe I can see if I can throw him in the That's front That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I have a long ways to fly. Look, Ma, I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ma, I don't want to fly.